Hey guys, what's up? Bye, Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and today we're taking a look at some air attacks at Town Hall 10 from this last war against Nottingham. Uh, you can see the score right there. Not a bad war from us, but they just came out and they crushed some of our bases. Five 10v10s. We're going to take a look at three of their 10v10s and one of ours. I believe we had two. Um, so not a great performance by us, but we still put up 84 stars, which is solid, and we're still looking like uh, we have a spot in the playoffs as well. So that's all good. Um, let's take a look at these attacks, though, focusing on dragon attacks and laloon attacks because the air attacks are coming back at Town Hall 10 somewhat. We're seeing people use them more, and I think um, right now they're, they're like the balance goes back and forth. But right now they're looking uh, like they are kind of on the upswing. We're starting to see more of them. Let's start with uh, some dragon attacks, then we'll take a look at some laloon a little bit later in the video. But these dragon attacks are a good way to um, to exploit the air defenses that are offset that are towards the outside of the base, stuff like that. Um, so this is MK, we'll go ahead and fast forward here. A few minions there, drops um, a couple wizards on the camps, getting that taken out. Then here go the heroes, dropping those guys down. Looks like he's gonna wall break, I believe the king into the, he's, he has some wall breakers, we'll see what he does with them here. Um, test the pops, bowlers are gonna step up. Uh, grab the air defense, so getting two or two air defenses right away, one with the queen, and then wall breaks open, that's giving him access to uh, the remaining air defenses, so if he gets pretty much, I think those bowlers are going to swing around, and yeah, right there, uh, was a little bit close, but um, with just the price of the heroes, the bowlers, and a rage, gets all four air defenses, and even more importantly, he's getting defenses around them, making a nice path for his dragons through the base here, so uh, drops these dragons, I think has a baby dragon down at the bottom here to kind of just help funnel everything upwards. There's the first rage, has quite a few spells for his dragons. Um, I like not using the clone uh, for this base because the dragons uh, can get it done when there's no air defenses left up as long as you just drop the correct spells in them. So that heal spell, sometimes it's difficult to heal dragons, but it covers three of them, um, has the next rage for them to transition into. Then he has, I believe, um, a haste and uh, a lava hound. So uh, he has those four balloons of his own, so five total loons coming at the back part of the base here. I'm not sure about the lava hound. I'm gonna just brought some uh, level seven balloons and just toss them all in there. But the lava hound actually is gonna just sit there and tank those Teslas um, for a little while while these dragons make their way around the outside of the base. So as we go times two here, you'll see that Lava Hound just sit there, tank, and when it explodes, it does a little bit of damage to whatever's underneath it, so it takes out that Tesla. At this point, just an Expo and a uh, Inferno Tower gets a little bit close here, uh, but has one dragon with enough health to just barely get that Expo taken out. Uh, so nice attack there. Three dragons left up when everything is said and done. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the next one, also a dragon attack here on lack. Uh, this is, I can't say that one, um, but it was a nice attack. Uh, let's take a look at how it went. A uh, nice bowler bounce on the mortar there, getting uh, I think three defenses. The way he placed it, the second bounce went right, or not three defenses, three buildings, but he placed it so the second bounce went right in between those two buildings. Uh, very slick there. Um, just some minions, archers on the opposite side to start sniping some of this. Uh, it'll keep the dragons and everything inside the base better. That, that way he doesn't have to invest a lot to funnel on that side. So here go the heroes. This is a common thing you'll see is both heroes together on these dragon attacks. Um, some wall breakers to open up the wall here. A little close with that um, mortar shell almost taking them out, but it doesn't. And uh, right here the queen uh, grabs that first air defense, then she'll continue on to the second one. The king meanwhile has gone all the way around and these wizards are in there to get that air defense that the queen can't quite reach. You can see the king's tanking right now uh, for those wizards to get that next air defense taken out. So you have to be very tricky with how you uh, take out the, the air defenses. Oftentimes it's about using the heroes, the wizards, the wall breakers, any combination of that to kind of um, sneak your way into the base and grab those air defenses in some creative ways. The queen actually doubles back around and with the ability gets some great value. Meanwhile, the dragons come into the base here. The funnel's been made on both sides pretty much. There's the rage. Um, there is an air defense left up, which is why he's going to go a little heavier with the loons and bring a uh, clone spell. So he waits for the hound to go past, clones the one loon from the CC, and hastes it into the air defense. 
haste could have been a little bit deeper in because these balloons right now have been slowed down because the haste didn't quite reach but i believe he still gets that inferno yeah right there the, the inferno goes down uh, which is another important part the lava hound meanwhile just doing some tanking because all the air defenses are down it'll just go defense to defense along with the loons and the dragons um still has another rage and still has another haste actually kind of surprising because he had the clone spell but it seems like he just has so many spells left over um gonna be a swag rage pretty much on this one nice hit there um yeah that rage is pretty much a swag uh because he didn't need to drop that so we'll fast forward to the end here and uh take a look at some law loon attacks now uh, the last one going or the first one here going to be their attack one more time then we'll take a look at one of ours we had um, some hog attacks by both sides for three stars but the focus of this video is going to be on the la loon and the dragons so this one is on devon's base um nice la loon here it's a uh, gobo la loon it has the uh, golem bowler kill squad the queen as well so starts off with these golems pretty wide uh, split here gonna get the bowlers um, to basically funnel some good second bounces the bowlers are a great funneling troop if you can set up the second bounces right um, I think you got a mortar as part of that um, got some good trash in the second bounce there uh, with some of those funneling bowlers so right here the queen's gonna walk in um, he's gonna drop his king in just a moment as well and uh, of course the six or so bowlers uh, making their way on into the base here it goes ahead and brings a lava hound in the cc which is pretty much just whatever your your preference is uh, either way it can be done the queen goes ahead and pops her ability just to get whatever value he can before she ends up getting locked on the hound so the queen's pretty much done here um, but the king and the bowlers still work and has the heal spell which i really like on these kill squads if they're out of range of the inferno tower Give the bowlers the heal, it'll keep them up that much longer, and you can see how much farther the kill squad gets in the base here. Gonna go in there, get that next air defense that's way in the middle, plus his queen's gonna snipe the uh, the farthest air defense. So I believe there's actually no air defenses left up. I'm not sure if that's how it was planned. He has two lava hounds, so probably not. Um, that's just the way it works out though has two hounds for no air defenses but there are a lot of wizard towers a lot of inferno towers so still has to be careful the splash damage doesn't kill his uh, balloons here and he starts losing quite a few of them but as he gets past this last inferno tower the hounds are really going to do a great job tanking and the archer towers teslas aren't going to be able to do much with like both hounds still at at, well, they're pretty low on health, but they're, they have enough health to kind of stay up and tank for these last few loons as they move through. Has a pup and a hound working on that last expo. Um, gets very close here for sure, but um, difficult to for a base to hold its own against uh, an attack that has two lava hounds when there's no air defenses left up. So good stuff there. Nice attack. Uh, we'll fast forward to the end here and take a look at, I believe it's... Um, Forget who got the three star here. We'll take. I, I know the base it's on, so we'll we'll take a look at one of our own three stars. Um, but guys, it's just about exploiting those air defenses and um, and picking the right sized kill squad for the base. So let's take a look at one more here. Uh, this is uh, Nagia, Nagia, however it's pronounced. Um, and this was a nice queen walk loon, um, a variation you can do, uh, which is equally valuable in on the right base to doing a kill squad so drops the king down basically just to funnel the queen here the king oftentimes not a huge role to play although he is going to tank for those wizards as they get that air defense taken out uh right above the king there so um not only do, does he get the funnel but he also gets an air defense uh for the price of his king and a few wizards so nice uh, little trade there pop the uh, King's ability a little bit late here. He wanted to save the King's ability uh, so he could uh, make sure that the wizards were being tanked for otherwise the king runs out too fast. So uh, the air defense goes down. The queen meanwhile uh, while breaking in here she's going to encounter the CC which is a small CC plus the queen uh, has a poison to get pretty much everything in that poison. I like how he just waits, pops the ability instead of using another rage, goes ahead and uses the ability because he has to anyway. That way he can hold the rage for a few more seconds and the queen won't need to be raged again. He tried to drop that one loon, I think, for a seeking air mine, um, but it didn't quite work out. Uh, so anyway, the queen going to take out that uh, mortar, then she'll double back around. She's done her purpose now. Um, she'll basically meet up with the balloons at the end of the attack. Not a whole lot that can kill her from here on out because it's one point defense at a time pretty 
pretty much. Um, directly targeting that Inferno Tower, always a good uh, way to start off a La Loon is going right at one of the Infernos, and then has um, different layers of loons for different parts of the base here. The ones in the middle getting kind of bothered by that Air Sweeper and Wizard Tower, but they get the job done, uh, they get done what they needed to get done. It's the outer balloons that are going to be in it for the long haul here and going to really come around the base and take out not all the defenses, but they'll get enough to uh, to finish off what they need to and give the queen a chance to finish off the entire base. So I like how he saves those last loons, not for the air defense, but for the important part, which is going to be the inferno tower, which is the last thing that can really hurt the queen. Besides that, it's just a few point defense. And even though the loons will die here, has the queen with the healers, which is so powerful at the end of an attack, and he'll finish off the base. So that's it, guys. Um, those are the air attacks. Um, to give a few quick tips, I guess, you want to look for a base for dragons when you have air defenses that can be um, that are possibly offset, that are in weird places where you can get a lot of air defenses taken out, preferably three or four. Um, for a very small investment of a kill squad and for La Loon It's a little bit more about defenses like wizard towers archer towers stuff like that inferno towers that you can get Dragons are more oriented uh, towards air defenses, but those are uh, the attacks guys hope you enjoyed them Hope you learned a thing or two from watching how um, some very good attackers deployed their troops That will do it. Good job Nottingham, and I'll see you guys in the next video by Sectatron out